What's good boys, Team87 here, back with another video. First of all, I want to apologize for the lack of uploading Warzone gameplay. Honestly, I've been kind of just waiting for the integration to happen. Um, but after they pushed it back, I was playing a few other games in the meantime, uh, waiting for the integration to happen. But to keep you guys entertained in the meantime, I have been uploading shorts on my channel. These are also TikToks that I post on my TikTok. Don't forget to follow me there. Link will be in the description down below. It's really just short form content. It's really funny and goofy stuff. Um, but if you like them and you want to see more of those, you know, consider liking the channel and turn on post notifications when you do. But that's enough of that. Let's just go ahead and get right into this video. So yesterday, COD posted the season one, uh, looks like battle pass for the new map. It says everything you need to know about Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, and Warzone season one coming December 16th. All right, so this is the first time of me watching the trailer, we can watch this together. <clears throat> this map does look a little smaller I saw that they have chopper gunners now Okay, he got motorcycles now. I'm down. I fuck with that. This looks so good. Is that Stitch? I think that's Stitch. Oh, this is going to be so good, boys. So, I did skim through some of this. Um, three new operators. So, we have this one is Stitch, I believe. Uh, he comes out during launch week. And then we have Bulldozer, which I'm assuming is this guy. And then we've got... Zena right here, which is I believe also oh never mind. Anyway, these are the three new skins that we will be getting. There's five new weapons. Uh this is I think just the day day of release things that are coming out. I believe they announced that it's supposed to be 30 new weapons, but this is just day of. Uh so we have the Mac 10 SMG. Uh fully automatic fire rate, initially tempered, very slight vertical recoil on moderate damage. This new SMG benefits from improved handling speeds. Tier 15 in the Season 1 Battle Pass, which you know I'll be getting. All right, then we have the Groza. <coughs> A fully automatic uh, assault rifle with excellent handling speeds and solid damage, as well as fire rate and impressive damage range. So... I imagine this weapon is going to be pretty good. It has good range, good fire rate, which is usually a means for a good weapon. The problem with the M13 is it just doesn't have any damage at range, so we'll just kind of see how it plays out. Sees uh, tier 31 in the battle pass. And uh, the Street Sweeper Shotgun, a fastest fire rate in its class, a large ammo pull. Uh, then it's Brethren, and it's fully automatic shotgun designed to clear rooms with multiple foes. Prior to uh, your gunsmith, expect slightly reduced damage, but with reliable weapon control. Ha. Huh. Hopefully this means that they will get rid of the doof-doof or either Dragon's Breath or something. 
Um, but yeah, they have melees as well. Um, I saw the sledgehammer was coming out. I wonder how this is going to play in Warzone. It's going to be really interesting. And then I believe this is more of like a katana. Yeah, samurai's katana right there. Okay, now the rest is just multiplayer content, but I believe there's a section down here um, for Warzone. If you want to go back and read all this, I'll have this article linked down in the description. Uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Right here, Warzone content. Here we go. Okay, so I did peek at this a little bit, so I know a little bit, but honestly, it doesn't ruin anything. It's it's really dope, the things that I do know. Uh, so mastery content uh including entire new battle royale experience on rebirth island as we all know there's a new map and the new map looks insane um so yeah expect intense close quarter action with similar play style of warzone's mini oh okay so it is a smaller map expect intense close quarter action with the similar play style to warzone's mini br mode as Re rebirth island uh, comes to Warzone. Play and play this include trio squads with lower oh player count than Verdansk. Can we got action and intensity? Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. To celebrate this new Warzone map experience, expect intense rewarding limited time event offering 16 challenges for those dropping into Rebirth Island for the first time. Earn calling cards, charms, emblems, stickers, and a special LMG blueprint, Noxus, along with additional secrets to uncover. So this is one of the things that I knew. This is the new gulag right here. Uh I kind of fuck with this. I really like it. Um it says right here, it's time to step out of the gulag showers as prisoners in the war zone are now dragged into the interrogation room, strapped to a chair and thrown into all new gulag where 1v1 battles are similar, but its arena is completely different. I like this a lot. I'm glad that they gave us a new gulag to uh, freshen up the game a lot more. So yeah. Um, and then it says right here, new rebirth island gulag experience is the second New Gulag coming to Warzone, deep below the surface of Rebirth Island's prison block. Pleasures are dragged to the ominous new area during traditional Battle Royale modes. This classified location is a grim history as certain inmates were experienced on a part of the Perseus plot uh, to turn the tide in the Cold War. This new 1v1 experience is centered around the Chamber of Question with prisoners of Warzone starting at the end of two hallways and run, panel, run parallel to the center room. Huh. All those these these pathways offer a quick route across the floor. Both of them have a metal detector that will go off whenever an operator passes through them, adding an additional element of strategy and an intense duel of survival. And remember, your fellow prisoners can still lob rocks. Oh, that's interesting. Now, I heard about this game mode as well. So I believe this one is one where... Uh, there's no buy station and you, it just focuses on respawns, uh, which will be interesting. It's kind of like the uh, the trios LTM that's out right now, um, from my understanding. It says, think you're dead. It's not over. This new game where we've been focused on respawning as a key to victory. Scavenge uh, caches and gear up as normal, hunt down squads and focus on dropping every last one of them. Otherwise, yeah, they're liable to respawn and seek revenge. So Gulag is closed says after take out an enemy you'll gain a moment of extreme charity uh clarity uh where the rest of the enemies your team are located now finish them huh i kind of like this I, I don't know i see how i'll see how it plays out but i from reading it it looks really nice uh if you're taken down there is no time for the gulag in this battle mode instead watch your squad mates and hope to survive long enough as the rebirth countdown reaches zero uh, after which you automatically drop back into the fray. Okay, so it kind of seems like you have to like squad wipe. If your team stays alive, then it looks like you re respawn. But if not, then you might not. Not sure. Um, yeah. So as we saw in the trailer, there's an attack chopper. Uh, says bring death from above in Verdance and Rebirth Island with the attack helicopter's latest addition in Warzone. 
vehicle fleet. This airborne menace is built with similar specifications as a regular helicopter, but with one major exception mounted on both the helicopter side rails uh, is a belt fed minigun that can be controlled by a fellow squad member. Finding the attack helicopter is not only a boon uh, for those looking to for rapid travel option, but is also raining down dozens of bullets on other squads without needing to use your primary or secondary weapon. Just know that this tiny terror is anything but subtle, especially with those miniguns are in use. So basically it's saying that you will know when this is in use and so will everyone else. Uh, you're kind of going to be like a target. Um, huh. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know. It kind of just depends on how the ADS looks. Um, but yeah, it kind of seems like it might be broken. Content integration right here at the start of at the start of season one. Expect a uh, Milsim operators song NATO and Vargas war pack uh, to become available in Warzone along with Stitch. All the other launch day Black Ops war ops are already available. That is correct. Will simultaneously appear in Warzone once necessary alarm challenges are completed. So it looks like I think this is kind of just a skin though. This is one of the characters for sure. Uh, expect a huge addition to the Warzone Armory and the vast infusion of Cold War uh, weaponry becomes available for you uh, to use in your loadouts unless a weapon has a particular challenge needed to unlock it. So kind of like the AS Val and uh, the VLK Rogue, we can expect that type of stuff to still be in the game. Uh, Black Ops Cold War primary and secondary weapons, including blueprint variants, will be accessible in Warzone, which we already knew and what everyone was so hyped for, along with a new map. Um, season 1 weapons such as the Groza AR and the MAC-10 SMG become available in both games once you reach a specific battle pass tiers needed to unlock them. Okay, uh, progression system that links XP. We already knew this. Uh, when season one drops, expect your season level to be synchronized across all platforms and all three titles. Um, yeah, I think this is this is it. Uh, Call of Duty Endowment Challenger Pack. Uh, I believe we already got this. It says more in the store. Master Crafts are back. A new tier of blue pins is coming to season one. And uh, it's home to the wildest creations that your arsenal could hold. Huh. I kind of like how this looks. Looks like that's like a rocket on it right there. Uh, returning to Black Ops from Black Ops Cold or Black Ops. Returning from Call of Duty Black Ops 4. These special cosmetic skins are unlike the other ones in game, transforming your weapon into an absolute work and art handcrafted by Treyarch's finest. Getting one of these amazing uh, uh, armaments, is that the word? Never heard of that. Uh, it is sure to make the rest of the lobby feel envious. These mastercrafts are unique cosmetic additions on top of the already fantastic five attachment blueprint. Uh, consider these ultra level weapon variants and a level a level of rarity above even legendary huh okay well that's new that's something i haven't heard of uh why not begin your collection on a rocket science master bundle with these five attachments high damage assault rifles uh miniature okay so i guess this is talking about the operators and new bundles right here uh, the holiday season is almost here. In addition to the new toys brought into the Mastercraft bundles, there's plenty in store for season one, specifically tracer packs. So it looks like that's something that they will continue. Uh, I, tracer packs are pretty dope, to be honest. What are we dropping? Oh, here it is right here. I didn't even realize. Kind of talk about this. Uh, there are downloads to obtain season one. It's already dropped at 11 p.m. Monday, December 7th. So we already knew that. Yeah, right here. All Season 1 Black Ops Cold War content is expected to be available 11 p.m. specific. Wow. Specific? 
available at 11 p.m. Pacific time on Tuesday, December 15th. Yeah, that's it. That's pretty much all that we have. We're just kind of waiting now. It is officially uh, season one eve of Cold War integration. And I can't wait for tomorrow for when the full game drops that we can just drop in and slay out. I have a really good feeling about this. I think that the map is going to be dope. Um, and I think that the weapon integration is going to be awesome. Um, I do have a concern with it being smaller. I do think that might be a mistake. Um, where's that at? I'll read that again. Yeah, right here. Expect intense close quarter action with similar playstyle to Warzone's mini BR, mini BR mode. So, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I hope that it works out well, but uh, it, it does. It does bring to question the camping issue, um, which is just dumb i think i think players who camp like that are, are just need to practice more and try to actually get better uh so it kind of just uh address that um but then it brings to the issue uh third party is making it a lot more devastating now so uh either way i'm excited i know you're excited too um yeah that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed this information, uh, don't forget to like the video. And if you want to see more information like this, don't forget to subscribe. And you can catch me live on twitch.tv forward slash TM87SCN. And I will see you guys later.